was a sight for my soul. Welcome to Minnesota. So I'm here in Minnesota. This is the third time I've been in this hotel, in this city, this year. Uh, I think since February. So we've been to Minnesota a lot, which is great, especially since we're at the NCAA Championships. It's nice to be competing at a pool you've competed at in the past. And I've competed at this pool a lot in the past, but it's good when you come back in a short amount of time because nothing really changes and you're still adapted to the environment well. Especially for diving, it is important to adapt to the pool well. And since this pool is very good and we've been here a lot, I'm very comfortable doing all my dives. When we arrived last night, did my entire one meter. It was great, I had a great time, feeling very confident about it. Today, this morning, I did my full three meter workout, did every single dive, and was also very confident about it because I feel like I hadn't even left. Everything felt the same, everything felt normal, which was great. And this afternoon, I have my platform workout, so that's gonna be short, it's gonna be quick, it's gonna be easy and it's gonna be comfortable because I've already been in this pool a lot. And the competition starts tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm competing in the one meter, and then the next day I'm competing in the three meter, and then the next day I'm competing in the platform. And I know in the past, back in 2015 at the World Championships and back in 2016 Olympic Trials, I kinda did this behind the scenes mindset of an athlete, of a diver in these specific competitions, and I kinda wanted to do that again with this video. So what's going on in my head coming into the NCAA Championships. This is my third NCAA Championships. I did it my freshman year, and then I took the year off of collegiate diving my sophomore year because that was the Olympic year. I had a bunch of meets I had to go to, and obviously the Olympics was the big focus. Um, but then last year was my second year of competition for college, went to the NCAAs, and now it's my third year. Freshman year I got two golds and a ninth place finish. Last year I got two golds and a silver, and this year, we don't know what's happened yet because it hasn't happened yet, but this year is is definitely different than the past two years because I guess last year and two year, three years ago, it was a long time ago. Because for both of those seasons, I was diving for months leading up to it. I was training all three boards all the time every week. And this year, this is now my eighth week back of training after being out for 12 weeks for a broken foot. So I still feel like I'm kind of kind of climbing back up the ladder of training, of competing, of getting my routine back together and being thrown into such a big competition right away is definitely different. It can definitely be intimidating, especially with the results I've had in the past. Obviously, I want to reproduce those results and I want to compete well, but I kind of have to give myself a little grace this year and kind of not think about results, but kind of stay in the moment because there could be a lot of expectations to walk away with this meet with at least two more gold medals like the past two years, but at the end of the day, my goal for this competition is to have good preliminary dives, dive well in every single prelim, make it into the finals, and then in the finals, be confident. Be confident with my hurdles on springboard, be confident with my comeouts going into the water. There's just very specific things I wanna be confident with, and so instead of focusing on winning medals this year, that's not really been the focus the past two years either, um, but the focus for those was just kind of like taper off, stay in the moment, and feel good. This year, it's we're kind of training through it because we're trying to catch back up to where I was, and that's definitely difficult to do, but again, I want to stay in the moment, I want to be confident, and I really just want to put myself in good positions for the finals. And at the end of the day, that's all you can ask for. Like, sure, over the past two NCAAs, I've won four golds, and I'm hoping to walk away with more in the next two years of collegiate diving, but, you know, life goes on no matter what place you get, and I'm just really excited to be back in the fight, to be in the competition, and I really do feel like I'm ready for this competition, even only being in my eighth week back in the water with still a broken foot. So there's definitely a battle, but it's also an encouraging one because after this meet, we have nationals in May, which qualifies for the World Cup in China. 
and that's really the big focus for me right now is to put myself in a position to be on that World Cup team in May. But in all honesty, I'm very chill at this meet. Typically I get pretty nervous for meets. Even at the Big Ten Championships I was a little nervous and I was just trying to hope I would make the finals because I hadn't been diving very long. Uh, but this meet I just feel very calm. I'm just gonna go in, be confident with my approaches, be confident with my dives, and you know I can't control the results. I can just control how I dive. And so that's all I'm gonna really try to control is how I dive, how I handle good dives, how I handle bad dives, and just keep pressing forward. That being said, I'm really excited to compete tomorrow. There's a lot of really, really good divers in college at these NCAA championships because it's a lot of international divers that you see at the Olympics all at an NCAA meet. And only top eight make finals, so it's definitely intense. It's intense in the prelims, which is a lot of fun and something I really love. I love being in that fight. I love being in that battle. But again, it's just gonna be about staying in the moment, staying calm, and being confident even though I haven't been training as long as everyone else. NCAAs is a different beast than the Olympics or even World Championships or World Cup. I don't know how to describe it. It's just a different meet and it's a lot of fun and I'm really excited to be back for a third time. Guys, day two of competition here. Yesterday was one meter. I ended up getting silver, which is really, really exciting. Seeing as that was such a tough event last night, the top four scores, so first, second, third, and fourth, were all very, very close and very, very high. So it was a really good event. I'm getting ready to have a pool. That was not English. I'm getting ready to head over to the pool right now for the event warm up for three meter this morning. I'm exhausted. My legs are sore, my ankles are sore, my body's tired. I got over nine hours of sleep last night, which is great. Having a coffee now, but this morning's workout was rough. But that's okay because the warm-up doesn't define the event. And I'm just using the warm-ups to wake myself up so that I can be confident and feel good for the event. So uh, let's cut to post three meter prelims. And we're back pretty much in the same setup as every other talking head portion of this video so far. Uh, the prelims are over. I ended up getting third in the prelims, which was really good. That prelim was honestly one of the hardest prelims I've been a part of. Hardest in a good sense. The top eight that qualified all dove so well. The scores were really, really high for good reason because everyone was hitting all their dives. So I'm really happy to be a part of the final. I'm really happy with how I did in the prelim and I'm really looking forward to it tonight. But before that happens, I realized I never showed you guys the trophy for getting second place last night. Uh, so here it is. This is the NCAA trophy you get if you win a silver medal at NCAAs. This year it's kind of different, so typically the silver medal always has that silver faceplate on the NCAA logo, but this year they've got this silver siding and this silver base. These change just a little bit every year, typically with like the logo on the inside, but this year they change the sides, and so when I get home from this trip, I'll compare the trophy from last night and the one I'll get tonight um, from 3 meter and then hopefully platform tomorrow if I qualify for that final. Um, I'll compare them to the ones I've gotten in years past and kind of see how they've changed, how they've evolved. But I think it looks really, really cool, and this will be a good one to add to the desk. So to continue the theme of this video, it's kind of the mindset behind the scenes of what's going on in my mind before I compete. And I'm really excited for the 3 meter final tonight because I've really been making a big push in my training for 3 meter. 3 meter is something I want to excel in, it's something I want to be consistent at and good at and compete internationally. And I competed 3 meter at the World Championships this past summer. And honestly, I did not dive well at the World Championships on 3 meter. I ended up getting 18th place. I made it in the semifinal, but I just had some pretty rough dives in both the prelim and the semifinal there and didn't make the final. But that wasn't discouraging for me, that was encouraging for me. It showed me where I was 
in what I needed to do to get to where I want to be. And so I've been training really hard, especially on 3 meter, to get to where I want to be. And this meet tonight's going to be a good test of that training because a lot of the people that were in that 3 meter prelim and semifinal at the World Championships are also in this final tonight. So it's cool having multiple meets throughout the year to kind of gauge where I'm at with my training and how I'm excelling so that I can be prepared when the summer comes and when the Olympics come again. But for tonight, the goal is to get good hurdles and be confident on my takeoffs and on my entries. Just pretty much the same thing I said for the one meter final I want to apply in this three meter final tonight. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, it's going to be a tough competition because there are a lot of good people, but I'm really, really excited to see how it turns out. Last year at NCAAs I won this event, so I'm really hoping I can recreate that result tonight. But at the end of the day, I don't control the results. I can just control how I dive, so that's what I'm going to do. You want to tell the world what you just did? You want to tell them that I was literally putting your leash on to take you out and you just squatted down and peed all over the floor? Right there? Yeah, let's not do that anymore. So, I told you guys I would show you a comparison between the NCAA trophies from 2015, 2017, and 2018, the three seasons that I've competed. Uh, so, let's do that. So, these are all seven of the NCAA trophies I've won. I've won five gold and two silver. I've competed in a total of seven finals, and when you qualify for a final at NCAA championships, you get a trophy regardless of what place you get. Now, first place gets a gold one, like this. This was this year's. Second place gets a silver one, like this one. And third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eight all get a bronze colored trophy, which I don't have because I've either only gotten first, second, or not made the final by getting ninth or tenth place, which don't get trophies. So like I said, these trophies have evolved over time. This was the first one I ever won. This was for the one meter at NCAA championships my freshman year. This was the second one I ever won for platform at the NCAA championships my freshman year. I didn't get one for three meter that year because I got ninth place and only top eight get a trophy. Got this one last year on one meter, got this one last year on three meter, and got this one last year on platform. And then we have this year, which are these two, which as you can tell, the sides are different and the heights are different than the other ones. So between my freshman and my sophomore year, the trophies looked exactly the same, just identical. Nothing really changed except the glass plate on the front had a different logo. Um, but this year, as opposed to the last two years, are vastly different with these and especially the sizing. So, this is a silver, this is a gold. Silver is much shorter than the gold. It's hard to see on camera, but it's actually a healthy bit shorter. This was the first gold I ever won right here. And that height difference is even significantly smaller than the silver as opposed to the gold from this year. So the biggest difference is just the siding color, the base color, and especially the height. It's going to be hard to see on camera, but even comparing the gold to the silver, you can't even see it on camera. This is probably like maybe a couple centimeters higher the silver is as opposed to the gold from the other years. Uh, but these newer ones are a lot heavier, a lot heftier. But yeah, this ends the NCAA vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. My plan was to do a couple of vlogs while at NCAAs, but it kind of turned into one super vlog, just a behind the scenes look at what goes on in my mind before competitions. 
while showing you the dives from finals in the finals that I made. I didn't make the platform final, I got 10th this year. But you know, I'm incredibly happy, I'm incredibly excited and grateful to walk away with a gold and a silver again this year. It's exciting, it's encouraging. And like I said before the three meter event even started, I was going into it hoping to recreate the result from last year and I was able to do that. We had to change my last dive to do it, but it ended up being pretty exciting and a fun contest, but that gets me excited going into nationals in May. There's a lot of work that still needs to be done to get me to where I need to be come May, but we're in a good spot and I'm really happy I was able to represent Purdue. Good old black and gold at NCAA Championships. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit subscribe. My third year of college athletics is now over. I only have one more. I'm getting old. Thanks for watching.